Here's the radar shot. Nothing doing. So we'll go on down and take a look at what is Hurricane Delta, but it has definitely lost a lot of its punch because it's been going over land. And we've seen this happen before. It goes over the Yucatan Peninsula, really kind of throws it off its game here. So now it's down to a Cat 1, and you can see that designation just came out with the 5 o'clock advisory, still moving northwest at 17. It'll have no problem finding its energy again, though, once it gets out over the western gulf. And the spaghetti models, except for this guy right here, are all going toward the north and northeast. There's a lot of agreement on this, so the official track from the Hurricane Center shows that it should go back to a Cat 2 as we go through the overnight into tomorrow during the day, and then maybe blossom back out to a Cat 3 as we go into late tomorrow night into Friday morning. So a landfall looks to be sometime Friday afternoon into Friday evening along the Louisiana coastline, and then weakening down, becoming an area of low pressure, and then really just torn apart by the th time the thing gets up into Tennessee here. So the track also is farther toward the north and west, and it keeps moving away from Georgia. So that's not a bad thing. Here we go as we get into tomorrow. Notice the thing getting its shape a little better here again. That's it blooming back out to a two or three. There's landfall as we get into Friday afternoon into the evening. And then we go forward. We're looking at Friday night here starting to come on up. And then Saturday. This is Saturday mid-morning, still kind of churning in West Tennessee right there. And then we'll see if any outer bands want to try to come across here. I'm going to show you how it looks for us during that time in just a second. But here's a long-range look. Let's go forward here as we get into Saturday. Shows some light rain possible here as we get into Sunday morning. Maybe some rain, but the core of the storm weakening and heading toward the north and east here. And then just kind of scattering out maybe a little bit of rain here. So we'll see how that goes. As far as rainfall totals, I've been showing you the Euro over the past couple of days. The GFS, just want to check in with that one. Half inch to almost nothing. As you go south, the Euro shows a little bit more, maybe a half inch to close to an inch of rain with the whole total event. Here's a look at uh, hurricane force winds, tropical storm force winds, and then lighter winds around 40 miles per hour. So as you get into Friday afternoon, notice as we get on shore here, things start to quickly kind of fall apart. As far as we are concerned with winds, latest model run shows, what day is this? Friday afternoon, we're looking at maybe 15 to 20 mile per hour gusts, really not related to that. Then once we get into Saturday at around noon or so, most of the wind again is back here in Alabama. Let's go forward into Sunday morning. Still a wind gust 15 to 20 miles per hour. There's Sunday during lunchtime. Northwest Georgia may see some and then that's about it. So well, now we're going to rewind the tape, go back to starting from now. I just showed you how all that looks. Now, how does it look from our perspective over the next couple of days? Well, tomorrow, Looks dry. A lot of sunshine out there. Any rain should be in South Georgia. Let's go forward into Friday. This takes us into Friday afternoon. The main storm coming on shore there in Louisiana. We're looking mainly just partly cloudy. We'll get into Friday night during football time, as we call it this time of year. So far, not seeing anything. I mean, we could have a sprinkle. Then we get into Saturday morning or Saturday during the middle of the day, and you can see there's kind of a trailing band there that's coming across through Alabama. That would be about the only one I think I'd be concerned about watching and we're going to see how the models look as we go through the next couple of days. Around 60 could have some upper 50s in the morning. Then we'll go mid 80s tomorrow afternoon. Looks like maybe I'm running out of time. So here's a look at the seven day, which shows we are watching Delta. Uh, if we saw anything from it, we would probably see it Saturday, maybe into Sunday. Right now it looks like some light rain and maybe a little bit of a gusty wind. Back after this.